of the final uh, day of uh, digital painting. So in today, uh, the, this last video, I'm going to be showing you how to use layer styles. It's a review because we did use layer styles during the artist trading card, but we'll go a little bit further with it. Okay, so to get to layer styles, you're going to go to a layer. Um, I'm going to, it has to be one of the layers that's cut out in order to see it because the layer style will generally go around the edge of the, uh, of the layer. So if we do it on the background layer here that we have a blending mode on, it's only going to be at the edges. All right, so I'm going to this one, which I should change the name. This is a person. Okay, I'm going to double click on the outside of the layer. So in this gray area, not where there's a word or a picture or the eyeball, but out here. All right, and then we get the layer styles. Uh, we get the layer styles window and we can try different things out. I'm going to come back to bevel and emboss. Okay, with stroke, double click on the word and the check mark will come up and um, your options. If you only push the check mark, the options will not necessarily come up for that layer style. Okay, with this layer style, you can choose the color. Okay. Now my color is going to be changed because I do have a blending mode on. You can change the size of the outline. So the stroke is an outline around the outside edge of the layer. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna push okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the next one, right saucer. I'm gonna try, you can put multiple uh, layer styles on one layer but I'm going to try different ones on different layers. Okay, so the right sky right saucer is next. Okay, I'm going to go to in, uh, inner shadow. Okay, double click on the word. All right, and I'm going to try bringing the size up and you can see the shadow, it creates kind of a shadow around the edge. So it makes it look more 3D. All right. So that is the inner shadow. I'm going to push OK. We're going to go down to, I'm going to skip this guy, go to the Miss O layer. OK. Um, some of these layers, like satin, color overlay, gradient overlay, they put kind of a whole different, they put it like a texture or something over the entire thing. I've never used satin. It just seems to make it a little darker. All right, the color overlay, again, it, the color is changed because there is a blending mode, but you can choose any color you like here with the color picker, and it will fill your layer with that color. The next one is a gradient layer. I'm going to take the other one off, and then we have a pattern layer. Take that one off. And here we can choose, there are a few different patterns to choose from. And again, the color of this is changed because uh, I have a blending mode on it. Okay. All right, going to the foreground saucer. Double click. All right. Um, let's do a drop shadow with the foreground saucer. This was definitely one we used um, when we were doing our artist trading cards. You can change the angle of the light. So it looks like the light is coming from here and the size and the distance of the shadow and push OK. So we got a little shadow here and then I'm going to go to the sky left saucer, double click and do the outer glow. The outer glow is kind of nice. So right now again I have a yellow uh, outer glow on it. It will be changed, of course, because of the uh, blending mode. But it, this is a really nice one. It kind of gives you this glowing around the outside edge. Don't move the spread up because then it gets very solid. It's nice to just move the side up and it kind of fades into this beautiful glow. All right. And then I'm going to go to the top layer and create a new blank layer to show you. I need to get just a regular flat shape. 
so that I can show you the bevel and emboss layer style. So I'm going to go to the elliptical marquee tool, change it to fixed ratio, make sure it's on a new or replace, okay, which is a new uh, selection tool. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to use a it's a paint bucket tool to fill it in with a color. So I click, and there we go. And it is actually above, I put it above the blending mode layer, the sky layer, so that's why you see the, the color I put in. I'm going to deselect, go to select and deselect, or control D does the same thing. All right, now I'm going to go to the outside of the layer, double click, go to bevel, bevel and emboss. Double click on that. This one takes a little while, so you have to have a little patience. I'm going to sit and just wait. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to bring the depth of the uh, bevel up. Again, there you need a little patience. The size of the bevel up, it's going to make it look very 3D. Not like a sphere, though, more like a button. Okay, and then I'm going to soften the edges with the soften slider. And there's, there we go. All right, and I'm done. So that was the bevel and emboss layer style. Push OK. Might have to wait. There we go. Okay, so, you know, you can do, I can shrink this, I can make it smaller, you know, shrink it, make it bigger. Um, maybe I can put it over something else and add a blending mode to it and see what it does. Okay, it's up to you to find something that you think looks good. So, there we go. Now I wouldn't have to put the blending mode on it. I could just use it as the little button. All right, so that is those are layer styles. Just a quick review. You would save it as a PSD. And then, of course, save it as a JPEG as well. Export as JPEG and go to 100% quality, save, and that is it. So have fun experimenting. Bye.